again, schedule reminder. Um, all these people are great. So much good stuff. I'm so glad to have all these people helping and sharing and, and just coming together for FMA that we all love. Um, yeah, it's moving. Okay, good. Next thing, obviously, another reminder, don't do physical stuff if you shouldn't be doing it. Be careful about yourself. Um, next one is liability. No one's trying to hurt you or make you hurt, get anyone hurt, so don't do anything uh, that would do uh, any of those bad things to anybody, you, your loved ones, uh, by accident or on purpose. Um, again, reminders, please stay on mute. Everybody's doing wonderful with that. Uh, pin the instructor. So in this case, you're pinning Mosey. Uh, push the pin button, and that way you'll see him as your main display. Ask questions in chat. I can transfer them. Or when there's a, a slow period, you're welcome to come off mute and ask a question. Keep this interactive. That'd be great. Uh, and then turn on closed captions if you can. It's a good way to catch uh, what you might not be able to hear. Uh, it will be uh, typed on the screen for you. So with that, we've got uh, Mosey's section here. He's going to do some interesting, cool stuff from uh, FCS. Here's his uh, intro and uh, intro slide. And Mosey, thanks for coming. And I turn it over to you, bro. Thanks for having me. <coughs> Can you see me? Me not see presenting, me. sorry. Yeah. There we go. That should do it. How do I switch my screen to me? <laughs> okay. Hey, everybody. Uh, actually, I don't know if this is working. Share your entire share. Cancel that. We can Hi, my own. Okay, cool. So first off, I want to thank uh, Ty for giving me this opportunity to share with you guys a little bit. Unfortunately, I am not <laughs> Alex, um, so we're going to wind it down just a little bit. I'm going to try to go through some of the FCS uh, Panatukan set, seven count loop. Um, it's really a two-person drill. Unfortunately, we're here in D.C., and I got a lot of uh, – underlying conditions, so I'm not taking any chances with the coronavirus. So we have to use a little bit of imagination right now. But if you guys are together with a partner, um, grab your partner. Basically what we're going to do is one person is going to stand there like a scarecrow, just arms out, maybe about shorter width apart. And the other person, which I'm going to be, is going to have the right leg forward. And you're basically going to do a seven count striking combination. And we're going to play with that a little bit, turn it into strikes, a little bit of elbows, um, I'll pull out the knives later, and we can play with that if we have enough time. So essentially, again, the first person is just scarecrow, I like so. The second person is going to be is going to be a, a, a um, forward hand, back hand. So you're going to pivot one, two. So you're actually pivoting on the after the first strike. So one pivot, two, three, four. In reality, all these strikes are to the face, and the person's arms are out. These will be one, two, three, four, kind of like inside booba for a lot of different statistics. However, we're just gonna go one, two, three, four. Our five strike is gonna be a straight shot, straight shot to the shoulder, again, representing the face. We're going to do a, a quick body twerk, and you're gonna whip your arm against your body and ricochet it back into your opponent's groin. It also can be a forearm shot into the person's body to get them to double over. So again, um, one, two, three, four, five. Don't count this. As a B, this is your six, and seven is an uppercut. For safety, we're doing an uppercut on the underneath, per underneath uh, sorry, the tricep of the person's right arm. However, in reality, that's the person's head. Because after you hit them in the solar plexus, they'll double over just a little bit, and the chin's right there for us. So, real quick, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, the cool part about this drill is really a speed drill. So the seven count, it becomes your one count, and we can cycle through this over and over again. So it becomes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, also your one, two, three, four, five, six. That's up. Any questions from beginning with? I really can't follow this thing <laughs> sorry okay so once we have that established i want you guys to take, take turns if you have a partner and give yourself one minute to try to run through that with, with your partner each person taking a turn and i'll just sit here and do that a couple times really slowly so inside back fist three four 
Five straight shot, turn your body ricochet, solar plexus, uppercut. One more time. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, pop, pop. All right, let's see here. A quick question, Ty. How do I pin this so that I'm at the top? You as, you as the main person looking at yourself, usually you don't see yourself, so I wouldn't worry ah, about okay, it. Okay. Okay, okay, turn around. Okay, now you should just think it off. All right, so if we have any questions on that, if not, move on just a little bit. Okay, so the next evolution is to start turning some of these punches into elbows. So that first punch stays the same. Our two can now become an elbow. So it's one, two, three, four, and then the rest was still be the same for this iteration. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's an the elbow, there's an the elbow, there's a the punch, there's a the straight jab, back fist, uppercut, elbow, elbow, so on and so forth. How are we looking? Good? It's, <laughs> this is so weird doing it like this. Anyway, so next iteration of this drill would be now to do this with all elbows. So we would now change the order a little bit. Before it was always right, left. Now we're gonna start with the left. So it'd be elbow, 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 straight elbow. Actually start all over counting this again. So one, two, three, four, five, straight jab. Six will be a double. One, two is our six. We'd rotate and that would be our seven. So one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six A, six B. Rotate your shoulders. Seven. The reason that we do the rotation is because later all this goes into a separate lock flow that kind of conjoins with this drill, which is kind of like what everything that Ray does. It's like there's one set. It's one Ray, by the way, for those of you who don't know. I'm in FCS, Filipino Combat Systems. I probably should have said that in the beginning. But anyways. One of the things too, uh, Ray likes to do is take separate drills and get you really good on those and then give you another drill and then those all kind of plug in together at different spots without you realizing that you know how to do it until someone shows you. So anyways, so we're at elbows. So one, two, three, four, five, six A, six B, rotate your shoulders, seven. Continue, one, two, three, four, six A, Seven. So now one, two, three, four, five, six A, six B, seven. Everybody good with that so far? Again, it's a little different than the rest of the presentations, but I figured I'd give you guys a little different flow, something different than we usually do. All right. <clears throat> so if you guys take turns, try that a couple times. The next iteration is our guards. So I've kind of been showing it a little bit, but the idea is that if you're protecting yourself as you're striking, you won't have to block as much. So we go back to the beginning. Our one, two is here. As you notice, I'm covering my face with my elbow, covering my center line. So one, two. So the way we would normally do this, the reason I have gloves on, even though I don't have a partner, is that normally we would test out each person's guard. So we would stop after each position so that somebody could test it. By testing it, I mean somebody would take a jab, 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 cross, cross, the hook. Of course, they're going to be able to hit your head at some point, but as long as your jawline and your face is protected, it's all good. So we show you show you how we do this progression. We go one, two. So my face is tucked in. You can't even see my eyes. So the person will jab, hit the shoulder, me hit my arm, hook, it hit the pad, hit the pad, uppercut. I dip my arm just a little bit. So this guard's good. So then we move on to three, four, three, four, opposite side. Same idea. One, two. Three, four, did my arm, tuck my head in for five. So now five, it's a straight shot. So I move it from here to here's my guard. So I'm more open on my sides. So when they jab, I'm going to rotate my body slightly and drop my elbow to make sure that they don't have access to any of my targets that they really desire to hit. So from there, we go to six. Six is still the same. It's just slip from vertical to diagonal. So I'm here. Again, they test it. I would walk, move my elbow around as needed, drop my tip of my elbow, 
but kind of like the Casey method, protecting my face at all times. And last but not least is six. The uppercut comes here. I show, I tuck my head in. Left arm is guarded underneath my body, and we're safe. Again, this looks really weird without a partner, so you guys have to work with me a little bit. But again, the idea is that every time I strike, I shouldn't be open. So it shouldn't be pop, get hit. Instead, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And from here, we cycle around by bringing my right hand, I mean my left hand, up through the gap, hammer fisting my one now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, mess that up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we just cycle it around. Everybody got that? Any questions on that at all? I see someone waving, but I can't hear them. <laughs> Was that a question, Mr. Don? Oh, okay. I thought I saw your hand waving. Sorry. All right. So, again, guard. Make sure you're tucked in at every position. Three, four. Check tucked in. Five, great vertical. Six, great vertical. Or kind of slanted slightly. And then last but not least, eight or seven. Sorry. So here's the weird part. It's actually still an eight count beat, in my opinion, but it's a seven count loop because we don't count the strike where I tap my shoulder. So again, it's one the basic form version. One, two, three, four, five. That's the beat we don't count where I wind up. So that's my six. But if we were to count it musically. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's what throws people off a lot in the beginning when they're practicing. They want to add an extra shot in that doesn't exist. So now, um, try to move on. So normally we'd work this a lot with a lot of people to make sure that their strikes don't sound like the way I'm presenting it now to you is one, two, three, four. It should be one, two, three, four. So pop, pop, pop. And then the next three in succession. So I'm going to give you guys a second or so, maybe, you know, 10 seconds, if you're, you know, participating, to try to run through that and try to make your, four, your first four strikes syncopated. So one, two, three, four versus one, two, three, four. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys do that, and then I'll check and see if anyone has a question while um, you guys work on that a little bit. Nothing. Yay. All right. <laughs> Moving on. So. If we not wear pants and I have the gloves on, so I'm going to take these off for a minute. Grab a knife. So we can do the same drill with one knife in the right hand. We'll just be stabbing or slicing depending on the uh, part of the drill that we're in right now. So for instance, the first one could be a slice or it could be a stab. So one, two, slice or backwards reverse thrust if you want. Three, four, five, six, seven. So one more time. I'm going to go with slices this time. Slice, hit, slice, hit, stab on this one always. For, by the way, that stab can also turn your arm and drag all the way through if you want, which allows you to come back up also. So, so slash, hit, slash, hit, stab, slash, down, thrust, thrust. Or we go all stabs. Stab, hit. Stab, hit, stab, stab, stab. Obviously, if we can put it in our right hand, you can put it in our left hand. So let's switch it around. And that will be hit, slash, hit, stab. Or, uh, sorry, I messed that up. One, two, three, four. Five will still be right handed lead. But when we go for six, that tap on the shoulder that we we're doing to keep rhythm is now we're going to extend that and make that a stab to the throat. Backhand to the stomach, uppercut. So you're still the last three shots are still going to be right-handed. So one, two, three, four, five, extra five, six, seven. One more time. One, two, stabbing this time. Three, four, five, five B, I guess. Six, seven. Obviously, if we can do that, we can grab another knife. And then we have double knives and play with the same drill. 
and run that through a couple iterations. So we're going right so slow. Slash, 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 stab, uh, stab, stab again, stab, stab, which becomes our one. So now two, three, four, I messed that up, five, <laughs> six, seven. So one more time. One, two, three, four, five, five B, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can put it in a reverse grip and run through the same progression one more time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now it's a ripping up cut motion. So one, two, three, four, five, six, or actually five B, sorry, five B, six, seven. Come around, making sure you don't cut your own bicep. So you come through and up. One, two, three, four. Try to still maintain your guards. Five A, five B, six, seven. So there's the cut. Make sure you don't cut yourself. Rip up, come around your head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Everybody good? Anybody have any questions on this? No? Pretty uh <laughs> Pretty obvious at this point. Again, if you had a partner and you try to work through it a little bit, you'd uh, probably have a couple questions on this. So, all right. So, I'm gonna put these down for just a second or back in the pocket. Actually, I'll put one here, see if this works. So, the quick draw that we normally would try to do in this, because we're normally working these patterns out. The idea is that somebody punches you and you don't wanna have to plan on what your attack is gonna be. You're just gonna flurry through. And you're getting your blocks in, striking, whatever you can hit. Ba 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 ba. Grab. There's your stab. You know. And then you would just cycle through them again until you got whatever it was you're trying to cut. So again, one, two, three, four, five. Right here is where I wind up and tap to get that strike. So when I wind up, so one, two, three, four, five. When I wind up, my left hand's already close to my. Uh, jacket or shirt, sweatshirt. So that's when I can lift it and grab. And there's my six, seven now. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's kind of hard when you have sweatpants and you don't have a proper holster. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, as such. And really, <coughs> now we're looking, what is that? Oh, that's a dummy. <laughs> All right, so that pretty much is our Potatook and seven count loop. Now from there, like I said, you can move on to our lock flow, which is gonna be even harder to do without a person with me, but I'll try a little bit. But the idea is that on seven is that uppercut. Oh, I forgot to say that. This is kind of for Ty. All these strikes, um, there was a uh, seminar where uh, one of the guys came and said that kind of looks like uh, karate or uh, Salat, the way that Tuan was showing it. And so I was like, yeah, sure. I'll, all you have to do is kind of change the way you strike. Slap, 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 or finger grab, right, hit. And that, that last set, strike seven up, if you go for an arm bar, it's now, you know, typical Salat grab or whatnot. I forget the proper term for it. Um, break or whatever. So, if we're running through the cycle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, instead of stopping and instead of going for the arm break from far out here, way out here, we're going to shoot in just a little bit closer. The arm is going to be across the person's right arm. Remember your scarecrow for now? Their arm is going to be in between my uh, bicep. I'm going to just bring it to my head and crank down with my left hand. So again, six, seven, I do a little subtle step forward, bring my arm, my right arm to the side of my head. At the same time, my left hand is going to go down. So from this side, one, two, three, four, five, six, ramp. And there's the first part of the lock flow. So the first break is here. The second break, you just think of a hook to the body. But the idea is that the arm's here, you're going for a hook to the body, but you intentionally miss by an inch. So when you come back, your arm is kind of, again, hard to explain it. I use a stick. Your arm is lying against your body, and you go for the hook, but you miss by an inch, and your arm is trapped against you. So you have an arm break right there. 
So first break, one, second break, two. From there, we let go, and we, um, sorry, we uh, grab your uh, left hand to your forehead, elbow strike up, across, through the body, one, two, and we're back in the same position that we were started off from again. So the lock flow again is one, hook miss, break, three is an elbow straight up, four is like nudging the face to the side, so you can free your left elbow, pop, pop, and then um, forget the count. But the next two are just to the body, elbow, elbow, grab the arm, stop the flow again. So facing you. So again, after a very the initial set, one, two, three, four, five, six, starting from six. So one, two, elbow up, three, four, five. Six, seven, and we start all over again. Facing the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Starting from six. First lock, break. Second lock, break. Elbow strike. Elbow strike to the face. Drop your body. Elbow, elbow. Catch your arm again, and start from that position. Last but not least, try from this side. One, two, three, four, five, six. First lock position. Second lock position. Elbow strike up, elbow across, double elbow across the body as you go low. Recapture your arm, and we're just, we stop there. All righty. Got through that a little bit faster than I was planning on. Any questions from anybody? Concerns, worries, issues? <laughs> no? All right, well, I'm going to let you guys try to rep that a little bit. If you have a partner, it's so much easier to see and understand. If you don't, it's kind of not quite makes sense a little bit. But, again, that last part is arm break, hook. But make sure when you hook, you take a little back step back a little bit. So hook so that the arm, you don't actually make contact with your body, and you just do a break with the body. So I kind of, Alex will say with the lift while I punch it, how you turn your body and you twist your hips a little bit, you do the same when I punch. So one step, there's your two. Three up elbow, four across, five and six, recapture your arm. Okay. How are we looking on time here? I oh, still got plenty of time. Well, that's pretty much all I have for you guys, folks. If you have any questions, a little bit early here, but again, not having a partner, I can't really work it through, so I can't really advise on where anybody has any issues or whatnot. And I can only see four people on the screen. Hey, uh, <laughs> Craig, Craig, do you have a question for Mosey? Well, I'm going to oh, jump on and say that was, that was really nice for, I mean, that's, that's a hard set to demo solo. That was a really good presentation, man. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, I figured I was kind of hoping I'd get the wife to join and help a little bit, but she wasn't willing, so. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like the floor for sure. Say that again? I said I like the flow between the transitions between both sides with the one, two, with the, the hooky motion. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, it looks, again, if you have a person with you, because every single one of those, once you have that lock break, from there, obviously, you can pull them through. And then into a Puta Kapala kind of with a slam, bringing a person down. So every single one of those spots, there's more. But again, it's ridiculously hard to show that without having somebody to flop around with. So doing the best I can here. So, anyways, thank you guys so much. Thank Ty for putting us together. Been coming to this these uh, FMA park things for about four years now, maybe five. I don't know. But I uh, always catch my class and always get about four or five of my guys to show up. It's a wonderful event. Get to meet people from other styles and see other, other people generally and uh, who are also enthusiasts in this hobby of ours. So, again, thank you guys very much for allowing me to present a little bit. And hopefully you guys got something out of that. If not, sorry, let it try. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good to have you again, Mosey. Yeah, yeah, I should point out, I mean, most of the people we have, I think, are, are – our new, our, our old time supporters. So it's definitely appreciated. Um, 
So, Mosey, before we go on, I didn't get this information from Alex, but I fixed it on Facebook. Um, do you got any uh, um, social medias you want to share or any ways that people can keep in touch? Or well, I have a website. It's uh, www.dccolly.com. And also there's a Facebook group, which, again, is just DC Collie. Pretty easy. So uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I do more. The more uh, I put more postings, more, more information on uh, the Facebook than I do the website, which I probably should work on a little bit. But uh, yeah, Facebook's a lot easier. So that generally is it. So obviously right now, DC has the stay home order. So we haven't had classes now for a while. So um, just starting to get into online through Zoom with my guys. So as I kind of work the kinks out of that, I might try to open it up to a bigger group sooner or later. But again, it's a little bit hard with uh, not having a partner to demo. Luckily, I also trained with Jim and Tom in Melinda Walk, so I've been pretty much teaching them Melinda Walk levels one and two, because um, that's a lot easier to me. It's more uh, step by step progressions, and you don't really need a person, at least in the lower levels, to kind of work through. So, with that being said, uh, if you guys are interested, dccolly.com or dccolly on the Facebook group. Perfect. Thanks. Thank you very much, Ty. Thank you to all you guys out there. No, that's yeah. perfect. Th thanks again, Mosey. That's awesome. Uh, do you also uh, periodically have uh, Tuhan Ray in town. When, you know, oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Totally forgot about that. So, yeah. So, Tuhan Ray uh, Leonardo was supposed to come here at the end of this month on my birthday, May 30th. However, because of this stay home order, which was extended to uh, December 15th, and we weren't sure if it was going to get lifted or not. So, we went ahead and postponed the seminar. So, now, it's going to be uh, September 19th and 20th from 12.30 to 5 on both days, Saturday and Sunday. So, again, September 19th and 20th. Um, for more information, either go to the dccolly.com page or to the Facebook group. Um, and, yeah, that's about it. Great. Good deal. Well, thanks for, thanks for sharing your time and energy and, and getting a little sweat on like Alex did. That was awesome. Yeah, well, didn't sweat as much as Alex because, again, I tried <laughs> No, yes, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I definitely appreciate it. And we'll see you at the next one, right? I, I'm still planning sure. on having a fall one. Pretty much always. Oh, sorry about my student. I didn't. I sent the wrong link to him. That's why he clicked that thingy. So. Ah, okay. Well, a bunch of people did uh, chime, uh, join in when you came here. I presume those were your students. But he's been sitting at 40 to 50 the whole day so far. This is amazing. Yeah, pretty awesome. Very cool. Glad you did. Definitely appreciate your part in it. Uh, we'll give people, I guess, a couple minutes because it is probably around lunchtime. Uh, and Mosey, thanks again so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, man. See you next time. All right. Take care, brother. All right.